boy, howdy. Look at all these side objectives. Oh no! Oh, please chill. <laughs> oh no! Hello, yes. You wanted more side junk to do. Here it is. Here's all of it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh, here we go. Offering help on the road. A weary traveler is upset to have crossed the desert in search of the Great Fairy Fountain, only to find he doesn't have enough for an offering. You should help him, right? Yes. Bravo! Superb! The traveler came back to Gerudo Town after making the offering to the Great Fairy, and rewarded you with double what you gave him. May travelers always be so blessed. Holy shit. Okay. Fairy Fountain Desert Sands. Okay. So we have a couple of these to check out. Yiga Clan. Yeah, so we want to get the three fairy fountains because that unlocks a new character. These are like when the spider, uh, the side quest in Spider-Man opened up. Yup. Right, let's take a look at some of these that I can do. So I said this a while ago, and I think I'm going to stick to it. I'm probably not going to record all me playing through all of these just because that is actual madness. Hope of Hebra. Help those with problems in the Hebra region to make the world a better place. Okay. So just the more side quests I get, the... Hey, that's how we get the, like, proper old school Link outfit. So that's what the stars are. Maybe I could record all of this stuff, but like, uh, do I do I wanna, or would I rather work on some other things? Is this? Oh, holy shit! That's even better. Whether because of body heat or fluke of air temperature, the room desi designated for this sh for Sheikah Slate research is unbearably hot and stuffy. Hope those poor researchers cool down. Oh. The researchers could focus much better with the white choo choo jelly cooling them off. The work progressed by leaps and bounds. They even came up with more potent version of cry Cryonis. So recovery time after using it is much shorter. More Sheikah sensor registrations, but we need more more chicken legs. Rumor about Skull Lake. You heard that when night falls at Skull Lake, a merchant sometimes appears who trades special items for monster parts. Find out if the rumor is true. The rumor about a merchant at Skull Lake is true. He's running a shop called the Fang and Bone and is deeply fascinated by monsters. You'll likely meet him again someday. And we got a Bacablin mask. Okay, would that mean stream but no recording or nothing at all together? I... so... I'm talking like, uh, all these little side fights. Maybe they're not so bad. But there's just, like, a lot of them. And I could definitely... I could definitely knock them out, but, like, most of them are five, six minutes long. Uh, and just getting them all done will take a while. Okay, well, I want to get this one. Explosive Endeavors. There's a research researcher in the ancient lab who's passionate about the science of combustion. He thinks he can make remote bombs even more potent. Give it a few guardian parts. <laughs> Impressive. Though the inner workings of remote bombs are still shrouded in mystery, there's no doubt that the materials you provided led to a boost in their explosive potential. Like, if I'm going to be on mic, I will record it all. But it's just like, there's so much. There's so much. Eastern Hyrule is developed to the point that people rely on transport of goods day and night. Gather all the light sources you can to make the roads safe to travel after dark. Beautiful work. With your light sources installed, the roads got brighter, and that led to more people than ever traveling the roads. This led the region, uh, aid the region in its development. Discount. Hey, and we get stuff. Yeah, I just have a lot of, like, fight Hinoxes and whatnot. Okay, well, I mean, it wants me to do a number of these.
Stable Master has a curry problem. Well, the problem is really one with one of his regular customers who wants curry with a strange ingredient. Find it. Monster extracts. Uh oh. You did well. Stable Master, thank you for helping him satisfy his strange curry customer. Invited you to come back to the stable anytime. Ugh, monster curry? Alright. Yeah, what I want to do, ideally, is unlock a bunch of mushrooms, or not mushrooms, uh, merchants, if I can. Okay. Cook wants to create a new dish using mushrooms, but is frustrated by lack of fresh ideas. Doesn't help that she doesn't have ingredients, either. Or he? Alright. <laughs> For once. You've Cook done finally well. had a mushroom breakthrough and created an entirely new dish. She's given you the recipe, so you can make it yourself whenever you want. No, I can't. I don't have the ingredients for that. I mean, one one benefit is we can pretty much just completely ignore Hestu, because, like, I'm just not going to use Hestu. Hey, here's an easy one. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if I just do everything. We have got... What is today? Today is the 24th. I have got one week from today to play whatever the hell I want before I start getting busy again. Because no one wants to release a new game around Thanksgiving, which gives me a lot of leeway on, like, timing and scheduling and doing shit. And then I'm going to have, like, Seven games coming out next week. Uh, starting next week. At which point, everything gets dicey again. Okay, let us delete this man. I hope you guys enjoy shooty sounds. Because that's what I got for you. Change viewpoint he is here. I did manage to de delete it. Oh yeah. Is that a yeah? That was a camp. Goodbye, you guys. I feel like the bird missions are probably some of the easiest. Oh, so I'm just uh, supposed to defeat many enemies here. And I've got a couple minutes to do it. Okay. So I might or might not be... Risking... It? Nah, we're fine. We're good. Shoot for the explosives. Nobody can stop me. Now, are these platforms actually... Do they have any enemies on them? No, they don't. So I actually totally disregard the platforms. Just go for, go for the floaty balloons. That, that's where the easy enemies are. Yeah, what I actually should do, to some degree, is hang out in the center and spin, because it looks like they respawned pretty quickly, like, right behind me. There we go. A little loud. <laughs> we...
And since when is Legend of Zelda a sci-fi game? They added a little bit. Gosh, that would be, that would be really cool. If they actually added, like, a... A much... Like, further future? Or, like, a... Because they've got a little bit of sci-fi in Breath of the Wild, but how cool would it be if they actually went further with it? Like, Final Fantasy levels of Magitek and Sci-Fantasy sci and whatnot. See, were those Hinoxes wielding bows? No, they had something else. Okay, military training camp. I got a lot of money. Let's get everybody up to level 30. Just because we're going to have a number of side quests that forces us to use other characters. Hopefully not too many that require has to. I don't know how to how the hell to do has to. Okay. So it looks like max level is capped out at whatever your highest level character is. But yeah, it would actually be really cool if you yeah. We had a uh, a Legend of Zelda for... Oh, military training camp discount. That would have actually been really nice to go for. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm just going to turn that off. I think I need to kill Octoroks. But I'm going to turn this one on because it's super good. I just don't want to have to go back and grind old missions. Uh, let's see, Mountain Rescue. Well, I can do this one. This will give me some of what I need. Leave it to me. Okay. Other thing we gotta check Go. very quickly. Our inventories are getting a little full. Yeah, most of this stuff isn't really even what I'm looking for. Because I want more monster part drops and battlefield specific things. Uh, let's see, what about this? That's uh, you will have to grind for trophies. <laughs> I. That for sure I will not do on camera. I've actually blown through a lot of monster parts in general. Okay. Actually, maybe what I can do is switch Leave to Daruk. I go back up to this one. Okay, it'll be Daruk and Link. That's fine. This this is fine. Let's go turn this in. Is this the Breath of the Wild game that was teased like years ago? You're thinking of Breath of the Wild 2. This is the prequel. I One thing I really like about this, by the way... Nintendo really did commit to Breath of the Wild. I, It's still probably my least favorite of the Zelda games, but it is also one of the best Zelda games for them to really, like, beef up, I guess I would specifically want to say. Because, like, most Zelda games, it just kind of ends with Ganon dying and so on and so forth. And I've always wanted more of, like, kind of a continuity for once, just... Just to, like, build up Hyrule, see where the story goes, actually explore the characters. Yep. Clabbing. Damn it. There we go. It's over. There are two oh, paths here. Leave Breath of the Wild cannon, but also retcon the whole thing because timey wimey. Or have the, have the whole thing accomplished in this game. Yeah. Man, wouldn't that be an absolute wild 
thing. What if Breath of the Wild 2 uh, starts and you realize that Breath of the Wild 2 is in fact a direct sequel to Hyrule Warriors uh, instead? But I was going to say with like this being kind of a pseudo prequel, because realistically, highly unlikely that they will actually have like you lose in this game. They might, but seeing as they've already done the whole, like, time business, why not just kind of, I'm not going to say commit to just having oh, the yeah. whole the Ganon, joke. Calamity Ganon be solved in this game? But you can easily just kind of wrap up the whole plot here and, uh, and still have, like, the character building be totally valid, even if it isn't delivered upon in the future games. I think some part of me is, uh... I think some part of me is actually a bit let down. If only because, and I, I think truly this is just kind of a, a downer for me. I absolutely adore the champions. Except for Ravioli. Ravioli can suck a duck. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I'm I'm not big on Ravioli just because he's kind of a dick. But like all of the rest of the champions are just lovely characters. And some part of me is just really let down that as part of like Breath of the Wild or like the DLC after the fact, the Ballad of the Champions, which I think did develop them better. Oh, yeah. Nothing I really yeah. had yeah. wished that they, like it had somehow involved rescuing all of the champions, just like, uh, yeah. just like how you rescue Zelda. It amuses me to no end that I actually have to get up here to rescue this guy. Because, uh, yeah, Daruk was a lot cooler than his son. And maybe it's one of those that for Breath of the Wild 2, his son will have... I think it's supposed to be his son, or... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe his son will, like, grow up or something. Okay, it was his grandson. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, but his son was just kind of the, like, classic pseudo-dumb uh, child character that I don't like too much. He wasn't terrible, like, he was functional, but he just wasn't cool and he looked stupid. <laughs> Whereas Daruk actually looks great. See, the other Hy Hyrule Warriors game, does it have its own timeline? Yeah, kind of. I know there are a number of people being like, the implications of Hyrule Warriors, and it's like, I... Not really. How many playable characters are there in total? 18. Yeah, I just think it would have been cool if, like, every champion was just, uh, stuck inside. Hey, ooh, improved heart recovery. Oh, that's even better. If every, every one of the champions was just, like, stuck inside a crystal on their respective, uh, you know, divine beast or whatever. Okay, chili path to a hot bath. You come across a man trying to build a road to the secret hot, uh, secret springs that dot the Hebra Mountains. 
He says work's been slow going because of the cold. I've only had something to warm him up. Oh. With the road to the secret hot springs completed, all the springs are crowded, uh, crowded day in, day out with visitors. The memory of all those happy, smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. And you heal faster. Okay. Well, I mean, I might as well. I probably should upgrade his weapon, maybe. We'll see how it goes. You only bring one or two characters at a time? Three to four tops. Honestly, like... Expecting being able to bring, like, all 18 of them on the same map would just get hectic. Like, they're really only functional if you're using them anyway. Most of the, most of the time, characters in your party are just, like... Or characters in your party, but not immediately next to you, are just brain dead. And even if they're next to you, they're kind of useless. Oh, he can skitter forward if you mash the uh, shoulder buttons. Really now. <laughs> How dare you make me bleed my own feathers? I don't know if I've done a smash like this before. Yet another victory. Okay, there's another one. Oh. I have to defend the Allied Stronghold. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, well, this works out. Yet another victory. And yes, I know there's a command system for this game. But the command system for this game, like, even if you tell them to go to a place, I have, like, straight up had... I, I have straight up told my, um... my party members to, like, go various places. And they will, but they, like, they won't succeed at doing too much. It is honestly kind of embarrassing them watching, uh, like, watching my allies try and fight, like, even the most basic mid-bosses. I'm not, like, terribly bothered by this. Okay. Well, this is hectic mob and grinding, but... Okay. Oh, weak point smash. Trying to go for it. The nice part is, his weak point smash is just like a big AoE that's just like, alright, screw this general vicinity forever. You're finished. Point smash, even from the air. Yeah, there we go. You gotta admit, Ravioli's got smile. Or s smile, style. He does have s style. The only the only real issue with Ravioli is just that his personality sucks. Frigid. 
Like, I'd be, I'd be cool with Ravioli. If he wasn't a giant... Oops. This is the wrong move. There we go. Like... And and maybe I just haven't seen him interact with anybody other than Link, but every time I see Ravioli do anything, it's just like, ugh, Ravioli. Actually, do I, do I still have the... There you are. Let's delete this guy. They're gonna have the one token jerk. I'm totally fine with, like, the one token jerk if they grow out of it. If they never grow out of it, they have to be endearingly jerkish. I can use this. That's the way. Okay, there we go. Holy shit, there's so many enemies here. Oh, this is a different... Uh, finishing shot. Ow. Oh. And I can't use... Nope, that's the wrong move. Yes. My way. Yeah, it's the ice whiz rope. Maybe. I, I. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> I, I, I told him to. You're finished. Well, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But like, cripes. I was trying to do the Magnesis move, and he was just like, maybe, and then just did nothing. And it's like, come on. Okay, well, got a lot of bits at least. Okay, so apparently that one actually had the stuff I was kind of looking for. Okay, actual question time. Go. I wonder with Ravioli here. I mean, you gotta. Like, mid-air attack damage. Yeah. There's just, <laughs> you have to get it on him. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a whole lot of weapons here. Uh, let's see, so I can't really invest in that. But yeah, if I'm if I'm going to be fighting a one of the big rock guys, yeah, maybe maybe if I'm up in the air, this will actually work a lot better cuz I can just wail on his uh on the rock on the dude's back. But yeah, what's a good example of, like, a jerk that became endearing? Piccolo and Vegeta, I think, are probably the best two. Both are kind of assholes, but you slowly get to love them over, you know, over the course of their character arcs. Ravioli, I, we just haven't seen enough of him for him to properly grow, but mostly he's just kind of bitter and shitty to Link. Just at all times. It's like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> You gotta have a character that's only around a little bit. You gotta be careful about that sort of thing. Gotta go fast. Dante. Uh, are we taking Dante from like uh, Devil May Cry? I see. Stop. Fooch. Behold. 
Because I feel like Dante from Devil May Cry. Dante from Devil May Cry? Well, I was trying to dodge around it, but I guess it didn't work out. You're finished. But Dante from Devil May Cry was always an asshole. I... okay. There's... a lot of these guys now. Hey, stop. I should have... I should probably do this one with me, but no. Holy shit, this is like, this hurts. That just leaves one. Nope. I... Ah. Be still. Impressive. I'm gonna run out apples at this rate. We'll just figure it out. Yet another victory. Stay down. Be still. Impressive. Too okay. easy. Please tell me it's not ice. Okay, Frost Talus. I'm trying to press the ride button. It's my time. Behold. There we go. Weak point smash. Yeah, we got this. The enemies have random weaknesses. Just the talus. It's apple up. I can use this. That's the way. I pressed the wrong button there. That's okay. Let's Watch and learn. get him with this. You didn't stand a chance. Oh okay, that messed him up. <laughs> this is really awkward. I was really expecting that I'd be able to do a better job at, like, messing this guy up. But I think next time we go up against the Talus, I just bring Mifa. Use the trick anyway. Well, at least we get Fodens. Okay. Well, speaking of Mifa, eh, it's good.
Okay, let's go get the Great Fairy. And then I think we'll probably shelve it for the night. Because I'm losing my voice and I've been streaming for seven and a half hours. Eh, almost seven and a half hours. Okay. Well, I don't really feel like using Ravioli. I Honestly, I'm just going to keep rolling Daruk. He gets the extra parts, which is huge. And I'm also just best at using him. <sighs> if you fuse weapons and improve them to their limit, hidden seals may appear. Okay. Let me see. Well. Managed to sleep through wander switching games. Go back to bed. <laughs> okay. Such a boorish bunch. Be a deer and get rid of them. Right, defeat the ice moblins. <laughs> Okay, keep an eye, eye on the health of the Rito captain. Okay. Oh, I guess we, we got the Liz Alphos. Nope, we didn't. There's still more of these assholes around. Kaboom! It's over! Dodge this! I'm really trying to get the, uh... Perfect dodges on these moblins, because it... That really does the trick. Okay, let's just give them a big class. Are these not the ice moblins? Oh, these are the boo blue moblins that I'm supposed to fight. But not kill. I gotta get rid of all these guys. Because I guess we're supposed to protect this Rito captain. Let's go delete this one. Okay. I think that got rid of all of the... There we go. I think that got rid of all the Lizalfos protecting this guy. There we go. What is with this me? Oh, it's because the fairy fountain. That's... That's why we've got this really bizarro music going on right now. Damn. Oh, yeah. Nothing to it. Okay. Stop bullying my Rito. Yeah. 
It's over. Ow. Getting slapped. Got him. There we go. Incoming. Bambo. Oh yeah. Is he done? Nothing he done. I wonder. Okay, that gets rid of that. I wonder. And now I'm just gonna it's over. Hurl bombs down on this entire group. Oh, shoot. Incoming. Okay, you. No, I don't have a Magnesis anyway. Yeah, getting a Flurry Rush would be lovely on this fight. But no dice. At least he's gone. Oh yeah, nothing to it. Kaboom! Yeah. Yeah. this. There we go. Okay. Well, I got a spare clap. I should probably Can use you it. Handle it. Found a new spin to win character. Oh. Stasis. Not bad. There we go. Got him with a weak point. It's Perfect. Over. Oh yeah. Nothing to it. We good? We good. Okay, two left. I won. And the Rito that I'm supposed to be protecting is nicely protected. Incoming. Namely, not, he's not taking any damage. Which is really kind of the easy part. I am the speediest. It's just fun watching Daruk just zip left and right oh, yeah. to, to dodge. There's just something special about it. Alright, now for the final one. First, hit the keys. Get out of here. That's part of the, one of the reasons why I like Daruk so much. Nice spinning, but how about clap? Can you handle it? Holy shit. That does some damage. Did I get him? Nope. Bomb to the face. Alright, problem solved. Bam. It's over. And we're good. He can slap, in fact. Collect root what? I... Oh! It's one of the Fairy Fountain missions. Hello. Of course. Over here, come and find me. Oh boy. Well, you know what? If there was any, any one person... Thanks, of Anna. the champions... Oh! I have to fight them! I actually have to fight the great fairies. Okay, there we go. That was my issue. I was stuck on one of my own rocks right in front of her. 
There we go. The sound effects for fighting them is super weird. Stasis. Not bad. There we go. But yeah, if there is any any one person part of the cast that I feel like has a reasonable chance at dealing with the uh, the sheer fairiness of the great greatness of these fairies, it would be Daruk. He seems like he could get a handle on them. Poor Link, on the other hand, just gets eaten. Doesn't he actually like get eaten by one of them? I'm I'm not misremembering that, right? Ooh, monster part drop rate plus nine percent. So there are some higher tier versions. That'll start dropping soon. Hey, Oh, well, that's what I was looking for. Kiss. Uh-huh. Hey, does everyone else have a stasis attack besides Link? I think so, yeah. But it makes sense, because, like, in, in the OG game, Link could just kind of do whatever for a little while. Looks like I could do that one again. I don't think it would be worth it, but I can. Okay. So let's blacksmith skilled, fuse weapons. Nope, wrong boy. Okay, which is the one that had the bonus monster drop? This one. But I think we gotta get it up to level 15 first. Let's have him eat. No, that's the extra range. I'd have two with bonus range here. I guess the other thing I could do... No. Okay, so let's see what I can do. How might not be able to get enough EXP into this thing? to really get what I want here. Because what I want to do is get it up to 15, which should... Eh, I might be able to swing it. So I've got... I've actually got two with attack range. Good to know. So if I can get a higher tier one with extra attack range, I don't know if it's worth it, though. You know what? Not right now. Oh. So, fun fact, level 15 does not give me another slot. Uh, do we get it up to level 15 anyway? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Do we go? Yeah. Let's let's go fight the other other fairies. Is this one? Yes. Time for Daruk. Do I want to actually scale up his damage a bit? Or perfect dodge window? Nah. Uh, didn't I have? Oh. Yeah, we can do this one. 5% extra damage. That's like nothing. Daruk Sandstorm? Hell yeah. I might give up on cooking, though, just so we can have the ingredients for the side quests. Because, like, it's nice. 
It's just not amazing. So the skill slots are 5, 10, and 20. Gotcha. Can you can you go past 20? Because I, I heard one or two people say that you could, but I think that's false. I'm assuming you just have to get a higher tier weapon instead. Ah, man, I'm getting sleepy. We'll get the great fairies and then we'll stop. His fights are no slouch, though. Stop, Yeegers. Collect the rupees. Okay, there we go. So, I guess I should just get rupees from killing oh, yeah. these suckers. Nothing to it. I wonder. Is that? Is that enough? It's not. Like every single one of these guys. I wonder. This incoming yeah. gives me some amount. But I was expecting more from the Blade Smiths. There we go, that gets him. There we go. Get out of oh, here. Yeah. I'm also hoping I can get some more apples. Excuse me, sirs. Please don't be here anymore. I got other shits to do. And these guys are only worth like four rupees. Did they not die from that? Guess they didn't. Eh, stuck in a cannon. Bet. I won. Blue Marvin. Kaboom! It's over. Come on, this. Can you handle it? Cryos. There we go. An official stumped raid. What? Nothing to it. You mean unofficial? Should I worry about them? I wonder. Kaboom! Okay. I guess we've got almost all the rupees that we kind of need here. At least we got plenty of time. Oh, uh, you get Blade Master? Ow. Jerk. He wasn't feeling well, so he didn't raid. Got it. Oh, it feels better. It's over. Ow. I was... I wasn't even there. Oh, that's okay. Wow, this is... Bit of not much. We fight the stone talus? Hell yeah, let's see how much money you give me. Okay, let's see if I can beat this. Yeah, so you can actually ride the stone talus. 
There's no such thing as overkill. Yeah, there is. There's absolutely such a thing as overkill. Nice going. I won. There we go. More Yiga clan has appeared. Holy shit. I won. Time's fun. Incoming. Yeah. That should do it. That's uh A little bit more than some. As given the clap. Uh, the, with the clap. Can you handle it? The clap. Oh, yeah. There we go. Give me my sweet roops. I wonder. Uh, let's see, blow them all up. Trying really hard on those perfect dodges. I don't think I'll ever actually be that good at them, unfortunately. That's okay. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Bambo. They dead? They dead. Alright, now I just gotta kill some random... Random goons until I have sufficient cash. That should be easy enough. It looks really easy. It is and it isn't. Like, so realistically, mowing through large groups of enemies is not supposed to be hard. In these games, it's more about completing the objective. So in this case, I'm doing great. I think a lot of that boils down to the fact that I've been pretty much maining Daruk since I started. Which means he's considerably stronger. Okay, headed for the targeted position. I think I'm good. Is it fairy time? Yup, it is fairy time. That's okay. So d they do yoink all my money. <laughs> I won. It's over. Yeah. There we go. Bomb to the face, and then the mystical double clap. Can you handle it? Can you really? Can you handle it? Really likes the redesign for the great fairies. I think it's fine. It's over. Is it great? Not necessarily. Incoming. But like. I'll take it. I'm not. I'm not gonna be like, eh, it should have been the old ones with the weird missile boobs. Like, if they want to just have some giant thick fairies, who am I to stand in their way? And why are they so echoey? Not a clue. Hey, getting some bacoblin bits. Okay, one more. One more and we can get our fairies. Okay, oh, Magnesis. Yeah, let's get this one. 
Shocking fear. The researchers are planning to develop improvements for magnesis, but they're concerned about the risk of electro electrocution. Maybe there's something you can do to allay their fears. I thought it was two. Two more? Oh, I thought it was only one. With a boost to their electricity resistance, the researchers were able to work in perfect safety. Soon they developed a major upgrade to the magnesis ability. Okay. I thought it was only three. Now I gotta find it. Hey! What bad weather? Merchant group wants to improve the flow of regional goods around Western Hyrule. Help them prepare for varied climates they'll travel through. Quick check. I already got I already got that one. Ah. This is the other one that I want to get. But I don't I definitely don't have enough bits for that. Let's get the discount. <laughs> Good work. Oh, last one's unlocked after beating the other three. That makes sense. Thanks for your uh, thanks to your help, the merchant group is ready for anything, heat, cold, or lightning. We'll continue to keep moving goods for the sake of everyone in the regions. Okay. Well, I will admit, if there's two more, then I think I'm actually going to call it instead. My hands are starting to hurt, and I've been recording for maybe far too long today. Uh, so instead of actually uh, stressing myself, we'll just pick this back up tomorrow and go get the Great Fairies.